and welcome to today's Almost Daily Devotion. We are in Genesis chapter 12, and we're going to start with the first verse, and it goes like this. The Lord said to Abram, Leave your land, your family, and your father's house for the, the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation and will bless you. I will na make your name respected, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. Those who curse you, I will curse. All the families of earth will be blessed because of you. So over the course of this summer, we're going to be looking at journeys, the ways that people in the Bible are called by God to go from one home, one place that they know, into often through a wilderness experience, into a new land, a new home, a new place for them to be with God. And so we're going to be looking at lots of stories of people who've gone through that experience. We're going to start with Abraham, who is probably the first person Noah before him, but Abraham is the first person that we really look at as an ancestor of the faith who had a distinct journey through the wilderness experience. So this week, we're going to look at the beginning of that journey. How did he end up going from the land of Ur to his, through all of the places that he goes and why? And this morning we hear God's call to Abram. Now, Abram is just wondering his own life. He's wandering around, minding his own business when God calls him into this journey. It's not something he expected to happen. It didn't need to happen. There was no reason for Abram to leave. Sometimes in the Bible, we'll find the journeys are as the result of a famine or a war or a family dispute. But in Abram's story, there's no reason for him to have to leave his home except where God calls him to go. And now we talk about ministers. Ministers talk about having a call moment, a moment where we realized that we're called by God into ministry as a, as a vocation, as a, as a full-time job. And it's sometimes, for some people, it's as dramatic as this story where God calls them distinctly and says, go, leave everything behind and go. And there are people who are called to be missionaries, and, and we see very distinctly that journey that they take through the wilderness. But I remember when I first received a call in college that I first thought maybe this might be what I was called to do. And I was talking to my Bible professor at the time. I was taking New Testament. I went to a Christian college. So you had to take a Bible class. And I was taking New Testament. And I told him I was thinking about going to seminary. And the first thing he said to me was, be careful. I thought, that's a strange, that's a strange response. Why would I need to be careful? He said, be careful, because I have found when God calls you and you answer the call, that along with it comes a wilderness experience. That along with that calling comes a journey, something that you have to go through, a period of time that you have to experience in order to grow into the person God needs you to be rather than the person you are right now. And I thought, what well, man, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, th I thought this, you know, I, I like church. I could be a professional Christian, I think. I don't want to go through all this wilderness experience and learning and this difficult path. And I resisted that as much as I could. Tried to find my way through an easier path, a loophole, a pull to Jonah. But God takes you through the wilderness so that you can learn who it is that you need to be in this new calling. And now that's easy for ministers to say we have a distinct calling to Christian vocation, but you have a calling on your life too. And you may be in sales or you may be in medicine or you may be in something that doesn't look like Christian ministry, but you are called by God. And at some point you're going to go through a journey, a wilderness experience to become the person God needs you to be. And it may be, that if you work in the medical field, you go through some cases where you learn exactly how humble you need to be. Or if you learn, if you are in sales, you may go through an experience where you have your ethics challenged and then you have to make a decision for God over money. Or you have to make a decision for what is right and true and just and not just take the biggest payday that you can get. All of us have a call from God. 
and it may be distinct like Abram or it may just be something that we grow into, but a call always comes with a wilderness. But God promises to bless us at the end. God promises to be with us through that journey. And so we need to see the wilderness as a blessing, as an opportunity, as something that we need to come become the people God needs us to be. You are blessed to be a blessing. And that is the good news of the gospel.